Retail giant Anaconda is now selling boats. Not just any old boats, these are built by Merlin Marine, the same crew who also makes Stesco and Angler Pro boats up in Brisbane. These two Australian owned family businesses have joined forces and plan to shake up the boating retail market by selling boats in store and online. The boats are called Golf Runner. There's a few interesting things about these rigs. The first is, there's a massive lineup available, over 18 models in total, from open car toppers to six meter runabouts. The Merlin Marine crew have been building boats for more than a quarter of a century. They must be doing something right. The guys on the tools pride themselves on being fishos and reckon they have a model for every waterway in the country. The Golf Runners all come with yummy outboards and they roll out of the door on Dumbier Trailers, another Australian family owned company. Another thing is they'll be available in store. So when your missus goes shopping, you don't have to hang around in the hardware store. You can actually cruise into Anaconda and check out some new sleds. All right, so we're going for a fish tomorrow, Ali and I. The kingies are on and we've sent a few little supplies. So thought we'll pop into the biggest outdoor retailer in Australia, the Anaconda HQ. So follow me, let's go. Apparently there's a fishing simulator at this store where we can go and test out the rods. And there's a barramundi tank somewhere in here. We've got to find it. So what's the damage? $55,862.92. Ooh, did you take afterpay by any chance? So we've spent the weekend testing out the 540 centre console to see if it can withstand some captain punishment. We managed to connect with some kings in close around the headlands in some, let's just say, pretty intense conditions. We're out here on the golf front of 540 and it's blowing, got to be over 20 knots from the nor'east and swells or well, probably almost two meters and we're fishing right in close to the headlands here and we just had a couple of baits out a dead squid and a live yakka <laughs> Ali's onto the first kingy of the day Whoa. we flicked some plastics around for a nice mixed bag in the estuary and even deployed the crab pots for some sweet blue swimmer crabs we just lost our biggest blue swimmer crab and then we just pulled our second pot and literally caught our biggest blue swimmer crab that we've ever got. So pretty insane. So what do we think of the rig? Well, it's bloody roomy for a 5.4 metre boat. The open one level configuration and generous 2.26 metre beam is the perfect blank canvas for a touring rig. You could roll out the swag, maybe create your own casting deck or even throw in the kids' bikes and yours as well. The gunnels are huge and my knees actually sit underneath them, so the fam are gonna feel super safe in open seas or up a river amongst the crocodiles. This boat screams top end touring. Speaking of up north, the graphics on the Golf Runner pay homage to the Queensland town of 1770, a place renowned for its fishy country and appeal to hardcore anglers. The hull is four mil on the bottom and three mil on the sides with a relatively flat bum so you'd have no drama sneaking into the shallow estuaries and river systems. The dead rise also makes sure things stay on an even keel, which we tested firsthand in the sloppy stuff while chasing kings. Another interesting thing to note is the transom is over a meter deep, so there's gonna be no wet stuff coming over the back. It's sure-footed underway, and with a 115 Yami uses less fuel than a Tesla. It's quick to plane and extremely quiet, with a cruising speed of around 22 knots while burning a measly 14 litres per hour. A classic feature often found on Queensland built tinnies is that they're very full in the bow. This means they're great down sea boats. That's true of the Golf Runner. We had this boat in some seriously shitty conditions and we didn't feel the slightest bit of broaching. Heading into a head sea, we found the acoustics a little loud, but nothing out of the ordinary for an alloy boat. Now, what would we change? Well, there are some components we'd prefer to see welded in as part of the superstructure. The gunnel mounted rod holders are made of plastic and feel super flimsy. 
We'd love to see these upgraded to alloy and welded in like they've done with the cleats, bollards and handrails. Speaking of bolt-ons, the bait board slash live well combo is attached to the transom well with stainless screws. We reckon this is going to be the first area you'll start noticing some corrosion on the finish. Another thing would be the backrest on the helm seat. This doesn't lock into place and when you're offshore and you go to lean on it, you can get yourself into some pretty awkward situations. For a five and a half meter boat, there are also fairly limited storage options, especially considering the seat box is carrying the big lithium batteries for the Minn Kota. The house and starter batteries are in the aft port and starboard quarters. Ideally, they should be elevated off the floor and in a sealed hatch. Having the plumbing for the live bait tank and deck wash exposed wasn't ideal either. A Spanish mackerel or little mako would have a field day back there. Now the console is a tad small considering the beam, but still effective for two to seat cover behind. The T-top on the other hand overhangs either side, which looks a little odd. Either the console needs to grow or the T-top frame needs to shrink. We'd opt for a bigger console with a binnacle mount. The option of a forward seat would be useful too, as there's only two seats in this boat. Overall, Ali and I had an absolute blast of a weekend on this rig. At under 60K, it represents extremely good value for money. You can buy a base package, then add accessories to it as you see fit. A few small improvements to the quality of the fixtures and fittings would elevate this 540 center console. If fit out isn't your thing, you can also take the boat around to the Chalura Anaconda store and they'll even do it for you while you're really in a sailfish on the fishing simulator. Golf Runner is also backed by one of Australia's biggest retailers and some of the biggest names in the boating scene with Yamaha and Dumbia. We reckon these rigs are going to put a lot more bums in boat seats and that can only be a good thing for Australian boating.